Good afternoon, folks. I hope you're well. Just about afternoon. Um, so I've got a package in the post just now, turned up. And um, this is a, quite a, a special occasion because it's a new pipe. I haven't bought a new pipe in a long, long, long time. I haven't really been in a position to do so. Um, this pipe was actually put away for me because I couldn't pay for it. Um, it's, uh, it comes from GQ Tobaccos. Um, Sam is awesome, really is a fantastic tobacconist. Anyway, he had this on sale quite some time ago and um, he set it aside for me very, and he waited patiently for, for me to uh, finalize the deal. Anyway, so as I've been talking about quite a while now that I've been um, going back and visiting um, my New World Cigar Journey, or revisiting it, um, my New World Cigar Journey, which I was on maybe four or five years ago. Um, so I decided to order a couple of my trusty Stanley knife, a couple of New World Cigars. Hopefully all of that is in the box. Yes. So first of all, the cigars. So the first one is a Camacho. Um, this is a Connecticut. Um, I've had quite a number of Camachos, the different uh, blends, but it's a long time ago now. Um, so I wanted to revisit that. So that's the first one. So this is the sort of the lightest one of the of the range. So we'll do uh, an impressions video of that one. And then this one is Karen Burger. Um, but I've seen quite a few people talk about these. I think Tim also mentioned that he thinks they're a good brand. Um, so I decided to give it a try. These are robusta size, which are generally my preferred Vitola. Um, so this is also a Connecticut. Um, I prefer Connecticut to Medora, although uh, I'll smoke Medora, but I prefer Connecticut. Um, so it's a 5x52, fairly classic size. And this is uh, roughly the same. Oh, and this is a bit of a box press as well. Slightly soft corners, maybe almost an oval shape. Um, so not a very tight box press, but a box press nonetheless. And this one looks like it's a 5, it's probably also a 52, but it could be a 54, but it's probably a 52. So very similar sizes. So I'm looking forward to smoking those. Um, I'll let these settle down in the humidor, probably the topper door actually for now. Um, it's not good to smoke them as soon as they arrive, whilst they've been travelling. Yeah, they just seem to get unsettled, that's my experience anyway. So we have a new... Savinelli. I don't buy Savinelli's really, I, um, very occasionally, um, but this one just caught my eye. I like the colour scheme on it, the shape, it's a, I think it's a 614, um, or a saxophone as some people might call it. Yes, it is a 614. Um, it's a 9mm, obviously, but a really nice box. Usually this, the Savinelli boxes are like a royal blue kind of colour. There it is. I like this um, colour scheme. A nice acrylic band in there. And this is a, a carved finish. Interesting design. It's quite similar to some of the rustications I've done in the past. And there's no staining on this at all. question is what the drill is like inside because it's 9mm with a full bent that's not easy and with a factory made pipe well we'll find out in a second mm. well the proof of the pudding will be in the eating it does look drilled quite high but we shall soon find out
the draw is okay. The problem always with these is because it's full bent, you've got to try and get, you've got to get your draft hole to get to the bottom of the bolt. And you can't do that. And so you basically, you're drilling your mortise till about there. And then you kind of got to go at an angle and you end up having to drill around there. But because it's nine mil, the mortise goes down all the way to there, but your draft hole is above it. It's higher up. So you end up having the bottom of the filter below the draft hole. And that sometimes makes for a very un easy smoke it, it's it makes it uh, very tight and just it just doesn't work sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't um so my peterson um the uh the, i think it was the christmas 21 pipe that one i had to re-drill myself because the the drilling was off and it was just too difficult to smoke um the, the, when i say difficult to smoke the draw was okay but the key to a good smoke to a good smoking pipe is the easiest throughput of smoke coming through the smoke channel through the draft hole now the smoke will come if you pull you draw you suck on your pipe and you, you draw you will pull that smoke through because you're pulling on it but if you have if you imagine a straight pipe um so you imagine a straight pipe the straightest route for the smoke is, is the easiest, and it's a very straight... That's why billiards are the most popular shape in the world, always have been throughout history, because they smoke the best. You have a very easy route for the smoke to take. So what that means is, is that when you're not smoking the pipe, and you set it down, it's not going to go out after two seconds, because there is still oxygen getting through, because it's an easy path for the smoke. And if oxygen can get through, then it's going to oxygenate the ember and the ember will stay alight longer. Um, if you have a, a, a very tight draft hole where it's like two and a half millimeters, which is not unheard of, that's not going to oxygenate your ember very well and that's going to go out very often. Um, I'm sure many of you have read Rick Newcomb's books. One of the things that he um, promotes all the time is a wider draft hole and that's why. First of all, it gives you a very nice draw and all you got to do, to, all you need to do to control the draw is how you pack the pipe. But in terms of oxygenating the pipe, the ember, keeping it going, the wider, obviously you don't want to go too wide, but as long as you've got a wide draft hole, there's enough oxygen getting through the pipe even when you set it down. And you can come back to it after a few minutes and it'll still be lit. So when I say these, um, when they're drilled high and the filter is beyond it, it goes past it, the problem isn't that you can't draw, you can. but the problem is that there isn't an easy path for the oxygen, for the air to get through. So when you set it down, it's not going to oxygenate very well and it will go out very quickly. Um, and even when you're smoking it and when, you, when it's in your mouth, um, you still find that you have to puff on it a little bit more frequently in order to ensure that it doesn't go out all the time. So if you, if you have a pipe, incidentally, if you do have a pipe which you find just won't stay alight, no matter how much you dry out your tobacco or whatever it is, or you're smoking your tobacco in other pipes and it smokes very well, but in this pipe it doesn't, try widening the draft hole. You know, most draft holes, factory draft holes, will be about three or three and a half millimeters in diameter. Increase that to four if you don't use a filter, to four and a half if you do use a filter, or something like that, 4.8 or 4.7. <clears throat> or 4.3, you know, you could try go up in small increments and see what works for you. Um, and I think that you'll find that a lot of your pipes will smoke a lot better. Anyway, so this is my new pipe. And I am going to smoke it. What I do want to check is in the button zone. See what kind of diameter we're talking here. Not diameter. It's 5.3, I don't know if you can see that number, it's around 5.3, so for me that's much too thick, I might, um, I might file that down, I'm a bit nervous, depending on how, I have to check the draft hole if it'll take a little bit more filing, um, mine are usually around 4.5.
There you go. 4.45. And anything between, I would say, 4.3 and 4.8, 4.9 is perfectly good. It's comfortable. Some people prefer an even slimmer one, you know, like 3 mil. Um, that's not my bag. Um, I'm usually, as I say, between 4.3 and 4.8, 4.9, something like that. As long as it's lower than 5, it's certainly good, but it's better if it's, you know, closer to the 4.5. We're talking about the height of the bite zone, that, that distance there. So there we go. That's my new pipe. I'm looking forward to uh, sparking it up, and I sincerely hope that it smokes well. Oh, it comes with a bag. Comes with a nice, because it's a natural, I like the idea that they've given you uh, a natural colored bag. This bag is actually a little bit nicer than the sort of very thin papery ones that you get, the blue ones. Oh, I didn't look underneath what it says here. Seven Lenny Ghibli, made in Italy 614 interesting to see this color up as well as it's as it gets smoked i really hope it's a good smoker yeah, a little seven early pamphlet quality control one filter type fisted meanies you used to get a whole a bunch of these a whole sort of I think of them, about half a dozen of them. Oh, I guess that's the guarantee. Very nice. Very, very nice. Sam, GQ Tobaccos, thanks once again for a great service. I'm looking forward to smoking this. Hope it doesn't let me down. For now, I wish you all... Oh, I'll say number one. Um, many happy returns to Charlotte otherwise known as Onion, otherwise known as 2AM Pipe on a Patio. Johnny, have a happy birthday. I saw uh, Mark giving you uh, wishes, so I figured I'm doing a video, I'll do the same. Many, many happy returns. May you have a happy, healthy, serene year to come with all the people that you love around you. All the best. Catch you on the next one.